Hey guys, welcome to Flight Test. If you tuned in last week, you saw that we got to put the awesome Flex Innovations Twin Otter to the test. Now Dave has stepped up in a big way to create a smaller FT Twin Otter made out of foam boards. Now today, we're taking you along with the design and engineering journey that we do for every one of our products. That's getting the airplane to fly, building out and designing some really cool options like floats, FPV, and so much more, putting it through a durability test, and ultimately showcasing the final result that you'll be able to build and enjoy. We have a lot of work to do today. Let's get to it. Hey, Ben. What do you think of my new airplane? Yeah, now don't look too close. This is just kind of a rough thing I kind of put together just to, you know, so I can see what it looks like yeah. in, in real life. Um, yeah, there's a couple of uh, <laughs> easy issues. It got, it had too many donuts. <laughs> it's got a big belly. That's awesome. That's just a fit issue. What, what do you think of the look of it? I like it, dude. So it's, it is longer wingspan and fuselage than I had anticipated. I don't know why that is. 58 inches. Um, I don't know. I think I think I'm gonna widen the wing this way a little bit, probably about an inch and a half cord. or so. Yeah. yeah. Make it a thicker cord. Makes and sense. then I'm also thinking I'm gonna cut it up here and come forward here, and okay. this whole front piece will be the patch. Unmovable. Yeah. And I'll, I'll like do like I did with the RV12, where it had that spring-loaded clip thing. And clip yeah, it in. dude, I like that. I like that a lot. Love it, dude. Hey, great work, homie. Thank you. Great work. To the next one. All right, Josh. So it's a moment of truth. I've been working on this Twin Otter here for a couple of weeks now. Yes. And I think we're ready for the maiden flight. Got batteries in. Everything's ready to go. You know, typically, like, the first plane looks pretty rough. This is actually looking really refined. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've gotten to a point where I just kind of, uh, as, I, as I build, I refine yeah. it. There's still a couple of other things I want to do to this, like add flaps and, yeah. you know, just a little bit better fit and finish. But this should be pretty close to the finished product as oh. long as it flies good. I can't wait to see this. All right. Oh. So we ready, guys? Looks great, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Living the dream. Double check everything. No gyros or anything, right? No gyros. Mike's up in the air. Ready to go. All right. Ready? Holy <laughs> You're at half throttle. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't even get up to half throttle before it was off the ground. <laughs> Called straight out the gate right there. Oh, it flies great. Well, Dang. that takes a lot of stress out, huh? <laughs> it may, I feel like that makes you oh, feel this super winter well. all day. Dude, that's great. Give us, a, give us a slow fly line. Right. What are you flying, uh, power pack wise? So this is a Twin Seas on 4S. Ooh. And uh, it's a rocket if you want it to be. Well, it looked at, it got it got out <laughs> here pretty quick. Hey, Michael, are you down for a vertical here. drag race in a second? Ooh. All right, Dave, Dave, you count right. down when you're ready. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> bye, Mike. <laughs> bye, bye, Mike. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's amazing. That is power for days. At CPAC, <laughs> just loves it. That, right. that, I want to try a flat spin. Here. Yeah, I asked it. There we go, dude. I love it. Oh, it looks fantastic. <laughs> oh, Gosh, I love this excited. plane already. All right, <laughs> so, I'm curious. Will it yeah, hover? Do it. Do, do it. <laughs> it's hard to hover because it wants to go up so much. <laughs> you got that crazy differential. Oh, look on. at you, bro. Look at that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it did. It will hover. I love it. Oh, <laughs> my landing gear fell over. <laughs> that's okay. All right, so I think that's a great success. Huge success. What's your next steps on? Um, I just have a little bit more uh, fit and finish, refining stuff, making cool. sure it fits together good and easy to build for people. Perfect. And we'll get it shipped out. I like it. Now, if you guys are okay, or if you're okay with it, I'm going to start working on the floats design. We have this new uh, foam that we carry that is absolutely incredible. Hot wire. I want to design uh, some hot wire foam floats that could ultimately also go into the XLs. Oh, I love that so, idea. That is sweet. I'll work on that, and then you're gonna work on some FPV solutions. Yeah, yeah, so uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right, <laughs> love it. So I ran up to our hot wire foam factory foam cutter here, and I cut out a new profile for a pontoon that's a little bit larger than our original ones. The whole goal is to make this fly off of the FT Twin Otter, but also be able to fly off of our XL Scout, and we even have a mounting plane for the FT XL 3D. 
This is our super durable foam. It's kind of like EPP, but it's a lot more rigid, but it's still a little bit flexible and bendable. As a matter of fact, it's the same foam that we make our tenon out of. We call it FT Duraflight foam. It's really durable, it's incredibly light. I'm gonna go ahead and mount this on the Twin Otter and see how it flies here. I went ahead and made up a couple quick brackets here. This is not how the final version is gonna be, but I wanna see if the placement and the size and everything works out properly. From that point on, we can make a clip on those. So the front brackets and the rear brackets are the exact same. I can also move this backwards and forwards based on how I need it to perform or sit in the water. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount this on. We're gonna surprise Dave, take it out and put it up for a flight. All right, so one of the best things about twin motor airplanes is that you have differential. That means you can turn on the water, even when we have this crazy crosswind. We'll see how we do. Are you ready? Please float, please float. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm getting greedy. Oh, gosh. Yeah! <laughs> you guys ready? All right, here we go. Oh, geez. Oh, no problem. <laughs> that's on 3S. That's on 3S. There's not a click of trim in this, brother. <laughs> it looks great. I love the way it looks with the floats. It is still plenty of power, too. <laughs> Don't hit that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you made floats for it. It looks oh, phenomenal. I'm excited, brother. All right, let's do a flat spin and I want you to try it, okay? All right. This wind is nuts today. I don't care. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I love this plane. I just want to do it all the way to the ground, but I remember the retro rocket, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> All right, so I still haven't gotten the, uh... oh, sorry. <laughs> so I still haven't gotten the flaps done yet. I think that's gonna make it even better. It's gonna slow down even more. 100% agree with you, man. I like the fact that even with all this wind, we can still turn it around, taxi it. It doesn't want to tip over. Look at that. Yeah. All right, close Great down. Good job, Josh. Thanks, man. <laughs> all right. So Dave has been working on an FPV pod here and also a really cool pan tilt system. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also flaps. And I think we're really getting close. Yeah, yeah. Um, just a couple more things. Yep. And it'll be ready for you. All right, let's get to it. So in last week's video, we mentioned that we're going to be trying out a new FPV system, and that's from HD Zero. We got our new goggles here, and we also have a new video camera and receiver. I'm going to go ahead and put these on, and Dave has designed an amazing pan tilt system to go directly on the FPV tray. All right, so it's time to crack some eggs here. Anytime that we design an airplane, we always love to push it to the limits, and you've probably seen that in a lot of our different videos. Watch out! Go up! Watch out! This is no different, but this time we have Michael, Mr. Wingbender himself. He's going to be flying this airplane as aggressive as possible, seeing what it can and cannot handle. Inside the airplane here, we have the most powerful battery this airplane can fly. It's a 4-cell 2250. And along with that, we have the race down all the way in. Let's see what happens. So Dave, this is just, this is crazy because what you've developed here, I've been flying as a trainer, I've been flying it in all these different functions here. And now we get to see how it handles the aerobatic. Yeah, I think he's gonna rock it. This thing, it, it's pretty maneuverable just with me and Josh flying it. I can't wait to see what Mike does with it. So I've been kind of flying back and forth between this one and watching Dave kind of build it up to what it is now. And I've been also practicing with the Flex Innovations one, just seeing what the otters are capable of and then seeing how this one compares. So I've definitely had a lot of stick time between the otters and uh, all that stuff. So it's definitely more maneuverable than it looks, that's for sure. So it's gonna be fun. This will be the first time with you flying with the same type of uh, uh, differential thrust stabilization mm -hmm. on the big one. Cause it literally came out this week. It's so cool. Right. It still blows my mind how much power it has too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wind's definitely pushing around up there too. Yes. It doesn't look that windy today, but it feels it. It's funny, it's flying that slow with the flaps up. <laughs> yeah, it's still full control too. So do you think someone could take this and be able to learn from it and then go straight over to the flex? I definitely think so. And 
the nice thing about practicing with this one to go to that bigger one is definitely you get to have the feel of the twin engine setup with like the otter, I guess, like fuse and feel. And if you crash this one, it's, you're not out much. Yeah. Now a couple features you're simply not going to be able to get the benefit of is flex can go from outside ailerons, inside flaps, to full ailerons. This does... Uh -oh. oh! Now we know it does to that. Oops. We got building to do. <laughs> Oh, so man. I would have lost 20 bucks on this bet here. I was flying it so hard in the earlier versions, it didn't snap. What do you yeah. think failed? Well, let's look at it and see what we got. Um, this is the one that actually broke off here. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh, okay, so right here shows it broke because of the flap. Um, the earlier earlier version, we didn't have the flaps on it. That was solid there. So I say we uh, add a plywood spar to the kit. Yep. Make sure that uh, it doesn't break again. This is, this is all about... Uh, us testing this and making sure you guys get a good product and one of the ways we do that is push it to the limits and see where it breaks and fix it <laughs> we call michael the wing breaker <laughs> like it so yeah uh well nice thing about this also compared to like the bigger models this is three or four hours we have another one built and this is good whether it's a failure whether it's a crash and stuff we can have another one of these flying quick and you guys can do the same as you move on in your journey with flying like Dave said, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add some plywood spars. There is no wood in this wing at all. We're gonna put some wood in that. That way you guys can push the limits and hopefully we can redo the same maneuvers without any problems. All right, so the journey's almost done. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> hopefully this is the last rendition. We had some yep. issues with the last one. Yep. And um, we fixed those problems with some wood spars and we're gonna take it up and see what it'll do now. Absolutely. We're gonna go ahead and put it through his paces. Mike's gonna chase us. You get to see how the final version performs. I bet it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, let's do it. Thanks. Ready? All right, Dave, I'm excited, man. Yeah, let's see what it does. <laughs> hey, you want to race? No. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Power for days. Oh, I love Oh, I forgot to turn my differential on. Oh. There we go. <laughs> so we always test everything without the Aura, but with the new tune with the Aura with differential stabilization, it's incredible. Yeah, it, it just keeps it a little bit more locked in, and then you don't have to do a bunch of mixing in your radio, too, for the differential. Yes. It's as simple as just pushing a button on your computer and you're done. We always talk about planes that can kind of grow with you. This is one that will definitely grow with you because you can start off as a first twin engine trainer, really. And then at the end of the day, just keep dialing up more and more and more. You don't see many planes that can knife edge like that. Yeah, especially a highway. Yeah. All right, I want to do a slow flyby here to test out those flaps. Full flaps down, it instantly just slowed down. Look at that. And that's without even mixing in any uh, elevator or anything no, like that. No, just, just a breath of forward pressure, and that's all it took. Here we'll uh, hover it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Let's do an epic flat spin. What do you say? Yeah, let's do it. Second half high. We'll do, we'll do inverted first. So for the inverted flat spins, half throttle, full up, stall it inverted, and all you have to do is push it over and you got it. Now watch this. Wow. <laughs> now, now with the aura, it just locks it in. Like it usually yes. takes one or two more extra revolutions to get out of it. Exactly. And with the aura, it just stops and goes forward again. I'm really happy to put those extra spars on this because we're flying the four cell, which is definitely more, uh, more aggressive. My favorite thing to do is hover because I can't hover very well. <laughs> And with this tune and this airplane, it just works together perfectly. Look at that, you can even torque roll it. <laughs> All right, big epic loop time. There it is. Now, Dave, you're working on an FPV tray and a Panto. Yes, yeah, um, they should actually be ready to go. So uh, hopefully we can put those on and uh, get, get to shoot in the next video here very shortly. So yes. make sure you guys stay tuned and watch for that. There you go. I didn't even put flash down on that. <laughs> I love the extra stability it gives you when you're um, flying FPV. I notice it just guides all that back. And the neat thing with having the aura in there is you can kind of do the head tracking, but you can turn the level assist. So then you can look around and you're kind of like a passenger and the plane's taking care of a lot of the flying itself. So I think that'll be a really cool feature with the wing senses, the aura, and the Phantom. Yeah. 
So, I mean, if you guys like this, it's going to be available in the store when this comes out. Yep. And uh, check them out. Make sure you check out all the decal packs and everything else that comes with it. Our next video, stay tuned for that because we're going to be uh, messing around with some FPV and pan silt and doing some fun stuff floats. with the floats. Yep. Everything's available now, but if you want to see them push to their limits, check out the next video. Great job, yeah. <laughs> See you next time.